Okay, C. Lindelof videos. TI Inspire cast cheats and tricks for doing binomial theorem and probabilities. So I thought I'd just run through this really quick. Hopefully you already know how to do this work. And this is just me showing you how to use the calculator to make it much faster. So I'm just going to start with this little problem that they gave us, which is that according to the National Center for Health Statistics, there is roughly an 80% chance that a person of age 20 will still be alive at age 65. Suppose that three of... Three people age 20 are selected at random. What's the probability that, one, exactly two are alive at 65, two, at most one is alive at 65, and or three, at least one is alive at 65. So all we have to do is this. All you have to remember is this part of it. N is the number of trials, right? So we're going to have three people, so N is three, isn't it? Then all we actually need is probability of success. And it says we have an 80% chance, so the probability of success for us is 0.8, or 0.80, however you want to do that. With this calculator, you don't have to put in the probability of failure because it automatically assumes it. So let's jump over to the uh, calculator really quick and see how this is done. So this is what we're going to do. We're just, here we are at the calculator. I'm going to go to menu, I'm going to go to probability, from probability to distributions, from distributions, you have to go down here. Where is it? binomial here, right? Choose that. Look, number of trials, we wanted three. Probability of success is 0.80. And in this case, since we're going to go ahead and answer the first question, we want to know that what's the probability that exactly two of them are still alive at age 65. So we're just going to put in two, right? Okay. And this is it. Three trials, 80% chance of success, and we want to know what's the chance that exactly Two of them are alive. So that's pretty good. The second question was, what's the probability that at most one of them is alive? So if at most one of them alive, either zero of them could be alive or one of them could be alive. So if we add those two probabilities, we'd get that, wouldn't we? It's going to do exactly the same thing. Back to menu, back to probability, to distributions, down to this, right? Still three trials. Still, the probability is 0.80, right? In this case, let's say, what's the probability that no one lives? So, plus. Whoa, 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 sorry. No one, so zero of them are alive, right? Okay, so there's that, right? Check this out. All you have to do now is just put plus. So it's that answer plus this, plus the probability that maybe one of them's alive. Same thing, back to menu, probability. Right? Distributions down to, right? Three. Use your cursor to go down to here. 0.8 is the probability of success, right? Cursor down. We want to know what's the chance of one of them, right? Okay. But look what we got. It added this one plus this probability to give us a 10.4% probability. So I think that's not bad, right? Let's do the last one really quick. The last one really quick. And I think. What was, the, what was the last one? Probability that at least one... Uh, at probability at least one. At least one. So this is what I'm going to do. This time. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do one minus, right? One minus, and I'm going to do my probability. One minus the probability that none of them lived. So menu, probability, distributions, Whoa. Menu, sorry, probabilities, distributions, go down, right, to this one. Still three trials, still probability of 0.8 of success. And we want to know zero because at least one is alive, right? Okay, and there's a 92.2% chance that at least one of those nice people is still alive. So I think this is really easy, isn't it? I tried to keep this video as short as I could. Um, what I would definitely tell you is to practice this because this is not something you want to kind of do once or twice. Get a set of problems. Let that be your investment of your time. Do a bunch of problems over and over and over again. And I'm telling you, you will save so much time on this that you'll have a, you'll have a, lot, of, a lot more opportunity to answer more difficult questions. So hope this was helpful. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. And if you have questions, let me know.